Alright, so I've had a few people complaining about batteries and power and the fact that their lights keep on flickering. Um, a lot of this time that's due to them or due to people powering things up directly from the battery. So for example on this circuit that I've got up here I've got the power coming in into this splitter. The power's coming out of the splitter straight into the battery. You can see the battery is losing charge because that is connected as you can see there, power output, ceiling light connected up to this one. But you're probably thinking, yeah, but it's connected up to the input of power. Now, have a look at a couple of other videos, but rule of thumb and basic knowledge is is that the power output will go quicker or the, the, the power of charge inside the battery will drain faster than it will actually charge up. So it's not like your smartphone or anything like that as you're using it on your, you know, while you've got it plugged in or it's, it's not going to keep it fully charged the whole time. On this game, if you've got this battery connected to something, it's going to drain. And even if you've got power going into it, it's still going to drain. So, well, the battery's got to 5 seconds, and you can see here that the battery's going up to 1 second, up to 5, down to 4, up to 5, and you'll probably see here, this might be what's happening. Maybe to your lights, maybe to your circuit, whatever it might be. Now, in one of my old videos, I showed you how to create automatic lights. And that was with the use of a blocker and a branch. Okay, so I'm just going to connect this up here quickly. So, instead of the output going straight to there, we're going to go to here in the branch. So as long as there's power going we want the blocker to be red outside of the branch it's going to go into the input of the battery output of the battery then goes to the blocker input and then you can run that output to the light now for lights that's generally that's going to work, you know, it's going to be off while it's daylight or while there's power coming in. And when there's no power coming in and these go double green, let me just clear this by right click and hold in. That's then going to let the battery take over and then power up the light. And as long as you're able to power up and fully charge the battery, then it will keep the power going. So that's one way to uh, stop the flickering with a glass of lights. Okay with regards to the constant draining. Now the next thing you might be doing, or some people might be doing, okay, is they might be using several batteries tied up together. So let's say, let's get the output of this battery and go to the input of this battery. Power output that, all the way up, over to the light. All right. Yes, powered on, that's excellent. Okay, so we've got 40 seconds in here, okay? But it's going down still. But then this is charging up that battery. So this is a classic case of the batteries being in series, okay? So this battery is powering up or trying to power up this battery. But like I said a minute ago, because the battery drain is larger than the charging ability this will never be able to keep this battery fully powered and allow constant output what it doesn't do is it doesn't drain this battery first and then drain that battery it drains them both at the same time All right. what it does do is it drains this one slower so you can see the times going down 
pretty slow here and this one's down to 40 seconds and coming down is normal time so it does make a difference but when this gets to 5 or 4 seconds that's going to drain really quickly as well now so we put some power into the back of this thing okay you're going to think oh yeah that's great that that sort it out yeah no worries okay it's just going to do the same effect as this battery is doing to that one. It's, it's still going to drain, but it's just going to be slower. Look, see, it's flicking between four and five seconds, even though it's got power coming out there. Let me get rid of that. So you've got all the power coming out to this one. 60 power going into this battery. But it's still flicking between four and five seconds. This one's down to a few seconds now. It just I, This one's just not charging up. So in a moment... There we go. And we've got the flickering again. It's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. So I'm like, okay. Maybe there's a way we can do these things in parallel. Okay. And yes, there is a way of doing them parallel. So that you've got one battery battery being used and then the other battery being used. Now, that's pretty complex and that is going to be on the next video. For now, I've shown you here how to prevent your, your batteries being drained or your, your flickering of the lights. For the lights, use this automatic setup. So I'll show you again, so output from here goes into branch have a look at the video as well. That's already going into the blocker. It's coming out into the battery. Output from here into there. And then you run out to the lights. That is pretty straightforward. Ooh. There we go. That will charge up the battery. And that will turn on the light when it gets dark, when you need it, which is great. If you need continuous power going out to a circuit, then I've made another video of that. I'll make sure I link it in the description. Uh, go and check it out. If you have any questions or anything, just give me a shout. For now, I'll leave you with that. Thanks.